In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you, eternal Father. For Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to pray again. That divine spirit of God will be with our fathers in all our churches so that they can pursue the agenda of God for the church of God in this new year. That the Lord will strengthen all our fathers and He will pour His Spirit upon them so that they can pursue the agenda of God for His church in this new year. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. That the Lord will fill them with power. That the Lord will fill them with divine power. So that they will be able to pursue the agenda of God. For his church in this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you eternal Father. For Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says those who receive prophet receive the reward of the prophet. You need to pray for our fathers in God so that their ministry can be a blessing and not a cost to you. Say this pray after me. Oh Lord my father let there be damp of your grace upon your church upon your servants in this new year let there be damp of your grace let there be damp of your spirit in all our churches upon all our servants of God in this thousands and even beyond open your mouth and turn it to prayer open your mouth and turn it to prayer let there be damp of your grace. Let there be dample of your spirit. Let there be dample of your power. Upon all your servants. Upon your charge. In this new year. Let your word spread exponentially. Let your word spread among us in all our churches and let your spirit flow like never before. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let us pray again. Let us rebuke every spirit of flesh in all our churches. Let us reject the spirit of flesh in our churches. That the spirit of God will reign supreme in all our churches. Where the spirit of God is. Where the spirit of God is. There is peace. There is progress. There will be joy there. Let us pray that in all our churches, in these thousands, in all the churches all over the world, that the Spirit of God will reign supreme as we rebuild the Spirit of flesh. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. We have just five minutes. To, to, to go. We have just five minutes to go. Pray that we rebuild this flesh in our midst. In all our churches. That the power of God will reign in all our churches. Let us pray that we enthrone the spirit of God in all our churches. We enthrone the spirit of God in all our churches. Let us enthrone God into all our altars. Every strange altar in all our churches. We set them ablaze today. We set them ablaze today. Every strange altar that makes prayer ineffective in our churches. 
today we uproot them by the fire of the Most High God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Every negative altar. In all our churches. We pull you down today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our altar will be for the Lord. Our altar will be a place of power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you eternal Father. For Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Job chapter 5 verse 12. Job, Job chapter 5 Orikaro, verse 12 Esaike, says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. He, 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 he disappointed the devices of the crafty that their hand may not be able to perform their enterprise. Let us pray for all the church, all our churches. That every attack against our church, every attack against our church, that the Lord will bring them down. The Lord will put an end to terrorism in Nigeria so that we can serve our God with peace of mind. Let us turn it to prayer. Let us turn it to prayer. Every attack against the church of God we frustrate them today. They will not be able to perform their enterprise. Everyone sponsoring attack against the church of God in Nigeria. In Nigeria and all over the world, Father, destroy them, disgrace them, prostrate them. In the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ, thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us to pray this one. You will pray for the church again. So many church militants has been, you know, has been attacked. So church militant has been attacked. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray for deliverance for the church. We are going to pray for deliverance for the church of God. All our militants, all the church saints who are suffering from the kingdom of darkness that the Lord will fight for them and he will restore them. Those who have been injured the Lord will heal their wounds. Let us turn it to it to prayer. Let us turn it to prayer. God our Father, all your servants, all your ministers, who has been eat, that the Lord will heal their wounds, that the Lord will heal their wounds, and will restore them back to their position. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, eternal Father. For in Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching on. We pray this day. For all our churches in the diocese of Lagos and all over the world, that the gate of hell, the gate of principalities, the gate of sin will not prevail over the church of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because you belong to the body of Christ, I pray for all the churches in the diocese of Lagos. That in all our churches, every attack of the enemy, the Lord will subdue in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power 
from the kingdom of darkness that is watering the gospel of Christ in the mind of all our members. Today, O oh Lord, we establish and enthrone the reign of God in these houses. Amen. Let such power, O oh Lord, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. Establish your kingdom in these houses. Amen. Establish your throne in these houses. Amen. And let all our churches in these houses continue to serve you without fear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. Thank you, eternal Father. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Grace to walk with the Lord faithfully this year. The Lord will release upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. It is time to testify to the goodness of God in our lives. For what he has done in our lives is the beginning of this year. Perhaps what he did in our lives last year. It is time to testify to his goodness in our lives. To lead us in this session is our father in God, the venerable Joseph Feisheton. Shall we put hands together for Jesus as he comes to the podium? Hallelujah. Exodus. Chapter 14, verse 31. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord. And believed the Lord. And his servant Moses. They fear the Lord, and they fear is they believe the Lord. They fear the Lord, and they believe in the servant. They fear that we make God step into your condition. As you listen to these testimonies, the Lord will release upon you the faith. That will produce your own testimony. The faith that will provoke your faith. The, the belief that will provoke faith in you. The Lord will release upon you. Let me invite the following as they share the testimony. Mrs. Owememe from St. Andrew's Church, Ayetoro. This is for Lashade from CKC. And Mr. Nobu from St. Peter's, Changuchado. Please, let's encourage them as they step forward. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. My testimony goes like this. I have to appreciate God for favor done to me on Sunday. This last Sunday, 2023, I was in my house. A neighbor who was staying with us before traveled outside the country, it's in Germany. So they came for celebration. So I was cooking. He just came into our place and said, they want to celebrate widows. I was cooking. So he said, but if you cannot come, one of your sons can follow me. They will not allow me to collect what they want to give to you. But I called my son. I said, okay, go. He said, under 30 minutes, the program has already started. My son said, mommy, I, if I go, I, they must snap me. And when they will call mama so, so are we a beggar? Are we beggars? That's we have turned to beggars. I said, no, but it's not like that. But in my second thought, I said, since it's not a church, or, or, that organize it. 
let us leave. Annoyingly to me, under 30 minutes, a car drove in my side. Three people came outside. So they said, ah, why is it that you didn't come, madam? I said, time was not on my side. Please don't be offended. So one of them brought out money, counted it, and told me that your children over there, they want to favor you. This is 30,000. It's for you. Praise thy Lord. And that is why I say, I must say, God, I thank you. Glory, honor, and adoration. You have started my year of mega miracle in my life. And so it will do for every one of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise thy Lord. One do call our law for a long talk by or no yano latte, we say, or what for one. Nobody want to come while she be a bad day, can't he want to fed down or pull long to one of the IA law. She go and when you are your wassail, one day off for one year, one year, a bear will not go. Maybe you are also trusting God for financial blessings. For our not about would you alone for it, we say, just key into that testimony. Get back, one in where here. My name is Miss Mola Shade. I just saw you from CKC Ajigunle. I want to thank God for my life, for God to count me worthy among the living that is step this uh, auditorium today. Throughout 2022, I was hospitalized. By this time last year, I had my first operation on the 11th of January. Thought it is over. On the twenty second day, on the twenty nine again, the second operation was carried out. I was there for almost four months in the village in the hospital, but came back. I thought all is over. Therefore, started again. I was unable to attend any program, even the parish program, the Archdeacon. But I thank God. December eighth, God did because I was referred to loot. I said they referred me to Bini from Apure to Bini. I said, I'm from Lagos. They said, I should go to loot. I said, loot, where will I get that money when I go to loot? I said, no, let me hold on to God. And I hold on to God. I said, God, if you are God truly, and you know it is not my time, you must not allow me to die. It is not easy. I was here. Pains. My tummy was like a half nine months pregnant. So on December 8th, we had a program in our church. I tried to come that day. I was there, we were praying. I told God, I said, God, I will not carry this sickness all to 2023. And as God may have it, that night, that on the 8th of December, the, it just started around 6.30, I started to have a pain in my back, like labor pain. I said, God, I'm not pregnant. What, why this pain, like labor pain? The thing started, before I know, I started formating. Before I know, the place where the operation was done, the first time, just opened on its own. And everything in my tummy started gushing out, just like that. That is how I started bleeding from 11 o'clock to 4 a.m. in the morning. And I want to thank God today that I'm alive. I can stand before the God, God, people of God to testify for the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. My second testimony, I want to thank God because there was a prayer that we normally pray that I started, I'll be praying that prayer and say, God, I'll be labor over the children. When the time for the, to eat the fruit of the labor come, God, I must not die. Immediately, my son finished 2020 at a last protect, uh, COVID 19 started. He was at home for two years, no service. We pray, pray, pray. Immediately, the service came up December. He left home December 3rd. I was hospitalized December 7th. So I called him at Kogi. I said, now nah, I can't stay at Lagos because no one to take care of me. I'll be I'll travel down to the village. The boy just ran from the Kogi down to home. That day, the operation came off. And this boy was going for clearance every month at Kogi. The one God did for me last September on when he was going, this uh, kidnapper bus, they were unable to get to the, the station that night, so they slept at the filling station. Around 5 a.m. in the morning, they started the journey. As they were going, these bandits, I don't know the one they, we can call them, started pursuing their motto. My boy said, everybody in that bus, they have slept. All the 
people inside the bus, they are slept. But he did not sleep with the driver. Then the driver started revising for hours. He started revising till the day nearly break up like this. Then he just once turned to the other lane. That is how they look. They didn't see them. So I want to really appreciate God because God has been so faithful to me in every area of my life. Please, church, help me to shout three hallelujah unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Every Every arrow of sickness designed to embarrass you. As you have listened to that testimony, the Lord will destroy that arrow. In the name of Jesus. This woman is over 50 years. And she said it was as if she was pregnant. She was carrying nine month pregnancy. But today she's alive to testify. Your testimony is the next in the name of Jesus. Great is the faithfulness. Oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they feel not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Brethren, join me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercy I see. All the love me, the Lord ends and provided. the living God. It happens to be that at a point in time since for some about two years behind before now there is nothing going on with me again. I hardly get a feed for my family and I continued praying when I came into here today, I saw this word written, great is the faithfulness. I said, indeed, great is the faithfulness of God. I refused to step out from the Anglican church. I said, no, no place that God does not exist. And a husband to my wife's friend called on my wife because he was not having my own number. He called on my wife that they should tell me to come. My wife said, no, that I am not around. I am on the mountain. He said, okay, he should, she should run and come. That there is a man of God he wants her to see. And when she go, the man prayed and do his abarakataba. I don't know. <laughs> and the man asked my wife, can a man being tied hands backward be able to do anything? She said, no. The man said, okay, that Look at your husband. I can't do anything unless he is here. Bring him because they use the blood of a virgin goat to tie him in the spirit realms. So that I needed again to bathe with the blood of a virgin goat. When my wife told me that she told the man instantly, I know my husband. He cannot do that. When she told me, I laughed. I said, Mommy, 
Christ has paid the price once and for all. There is no any other sacrifice of blood left outside the blood which Christ has poured on the cross. Well, it's become my prayer point, but for me to appear there, I think is a taboo. It's a, it's a dent to my faith at my level in the communion. Praise the Lord. I say nevertheless, let me see if God of heaven is no longer on the throne. I took my journey to Centenary City, where the Anglican Church had their prayer ground at Eleko side. I pick up my Bible. I took my journey down to Centenary City for some days. And we go there, I continued battling. I said, God, if you are the God of the living, you must act. I am not saying you may. I said, you have to act because I am your servant. And to him be the glory. The, 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 the wife of that man called my wife and said, why can't your husband do what, what he's asked to do? Is he happy in this condition that he finds himself? I laughed. I said, forget about them. I am not the kind of person that runs from church to church. I still believe the same God who wants me to come and serve there, which I don't even know how he started that. Even if my primate becomes the worst sinner on earth, I don't care. That will never make me to leave the communion. That is his own business with God. But all I know is that in this same communion, there is God of heaven. I went on my knee. I prayed. The same week, I concluded my program. I was called to come and have something doing. I am a civil engineer. I work on construction, and I was called to him be the glory. I went, and I found bread for my family. Last year, I was quitted from where I was living. The entire compound, my wife was somehow panicking. Ah, I don't want a shameful thing. I don't want to be thrown away. I said, mommy, relax. I know the God I serve. He is always the God of 11th hour. When every hope is gone, when man has tried all he could, God will suffice. And I was given on or before 31st of December to pack out. And to him be the glory. On that 31st December night, I was handed a key over. Yet to leave. Praise, praise, praise the name of Jehovah. <laughs> Titi de bi pe awon re ti le ngba won ni yanju lati ma se awon ohun ti obojo mo fun oni gbagbo lati se sugbon won lo si ebe igbogon centenary city wa won gbadura olohun gbo adura won olohun fun won ni se won de tu gba kokoro haleluya amen are you happy with these testimonies? Come and wave your hands to God and appreciate Him. Say, Lord, you are faithful. We give you praise, O Lord. Be magnified in the name of Jesus. You know, before I pray with them, I want to emphasize on what the last speaker said. We have a prayer mountain at the Centenary City. And you're okay, I do at the Centenary City. We wow. meet there every Wednesday. I'm out by the bed. By 9 a.m. We will not be there next week because of the clergy retreat. Because of the cosmopolitan clergy retreat that is coming up. But from the upper week, we are going to be there. There is a chaplain on ground. We also have a league of priests that we minister to you. The Bible said, those who know their God, they shall be strong. 
and they will do exploits. Father, we thank you for these testimonies. Father, be glorified. And we declare what the Lord has done for you shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Affliction will never rise again in your life in the name of Jesus. Because you have testified, the Lord will establish your testimonies in the name of Jesus. Your testimonies shall multiply in the name of Jesus. As many that desire this kind of testimonies, yours is the next to happen in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Be glorified, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'm going to put your hands together for Jesus. We can do better. We can do better. Amen. Amen. Before the close of this month, you will testify to the glory of God. If only you can claim it. I said before the close of this month, you will testify to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. What no man can do, God of possibility, we do it in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is time to pray for our dear country. We are all aware that in few weeks' time, we'll be having general elections. We need to intercede for our nation. To lead us in this session is our Father in the Lord, the Reverend Oliver. Can we put us together for Jesus Christ as he comes to the podium? Amen. 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 A living soul shouts a louder amen. Amen. I want to believe that this session of prayer can never be done sitting down. Please, wherever you are, I would like, I would like us to be on our feet. I want us to be intentional and willing. We want us to be intentional and willing. We are going to pray this prayer as if you are the one that the heavens will be depending on concerning Nigeria in this season. Did we get what I said? You are going to pray as if the heavens are depending on you. In the case of Nigeria in this season, before I prepare a few prayer points, the Spirit of the Lord asked me to tell the church, remember what happened in Genesis chapter 4? A brother killed his brother. A man killed his brother. Ken and Abel. Ken Ken and Abel. The Bible says, when the Lord met with Cain, and asked Ken him, where is your brother? The man began to speak like someone who was confused. And the Lord said, listen to me. The blood of your brother is crying unto me from the ground. I said, because of this, this ground that has opened up and swallowed the blood of your brother is cursed. This ground is cursed. And we no longer bring fruits. The Lord 